In this video, I'll focus on generating custom images for your church work and how to get the best results. AI image generating technologies can be an effective tool for quickly producing distinctive and beautiful images while saving time and resources. There are several places you could create free images using AI, artificial intelligence, and several that I've used are Dolly 2, Dream Studio, and Midjourney. After using all of these tools, I've found Midjourney to be the best at making beautiful images and graphics. These applications work by using a text prompt to create an image. However, getting great images require a well-written prompt. For example, if you want an image related to a sermon series on one man can make a difference, simply inputting that phrase may not give you the best results. Instead, try something specific like close-up portrait of one man in a suit and tie facing the camera, large crowd in the background, blurred, full face details, hyper realistic, and I put dash dash AR32 aspect ratio means it's wider than it is tall, so you could use it on screens or what have you. And as you can see, it did a fairly good job of generating this, and I could also choose uh, which one to make better quality and upscale it. So this would be one, two, three, and four. So I will upscale one and click on U1 as an upscale one. And as you can see, it did a great job of creating this image. And I could just use this. There's no royalties that I need to pay. And I could use this. I could put text on the top or whatever you'd like to do with it. As you try out new things, you'll get better and better at your text prompts. Try unique prompts that you won't be able to get graphics otherwise, and try to be as specific as possible. So for instance, if you want to have an image for uh, the millennial reign of Christ, a lamb and a lion resting together in a peaceful scenic photo. And sometimes I like to put extra prompts like epic photo or something, just to give it a little more guidance that I really want this thing to be impressive looking. So let's say we're having a senior citizen skydiving activity. Okay, maybe it's not a great activity, but sounds like a lot of fun to me. So let's put this prompt in. Senior citizen skydiving, epic lighting, ultra detailed, photorealistic, cinematic with negative space for text so that we could put a title on the graphic. And that is an amazing photo. I could put the text right up here on the top left hand side and I have pre-made graphics to use. In future videos, we'll show you how to take the concepts from Midjourney or any photo and use another program to create designs using real people's faces. We'll also discover how to create usable logos using AI tools. Although Midjourney is the best, I didn't like to use it at first because of the public area and I didn't want to use it until I found out you could pay to generate images in a direct message area, which you see right here. It allows you to get your images without seeing other people's work, which are not always Christ-like. I hope this video was helpful, and I encourage you to try using AI image generation tools in your church and media ministry. Let me know in the comments if you've already tried this out, and share any ideas for future videos on incorporating AI into your church's media ministry.